What I'm about to read is uh, probably the most famous poem of the Victorian era, and probably one of the most well-known poems, considering how many influential people have come out in public many times and said this is a great poem. Um, and it's one of those poems that people who don't know poetry tend to know kind of like um, my captain, or if... Um, it's most, I think, most famously known uh, from the anecdote of Nelson Mandela when he said that it was reciting this poem several times a day that got him through his years of imprisonment. And it is a very stoic, empowering poem. It, it, it exudes strength and it pushes you, you into a sort of state of commitment. I do find that. Apologies for that beep. Um, it's In Viticus by William Ernest Henley. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever God may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of shade. And yet the menace of the years finds me and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. This was written in 1875. And I really love the exuberance of this. It's almost, when it's being read, it's one of those things that... that you have to be quiet to listen to and you feel sort of the aura exuding because it, it's very straightforward in its meaning you know it's meant to be motivating it's meant to be a, like don't give up you are strong you've got this no matter whatever but it, it it's not complicated with linguistic techniques or with um, ambiguity it's straightforward to the point and blunt and it really stabs in the heart that that message and i think writing this uh for william would have been you know a piece of his own strength he's trying to make this personal statement to progress his own personal strength but inadvertently it's become you know a, a war cry for thousands around the world who find this to be uh, something they're dependent on for motivation and i think it's a great example of of motivation when large swaths of famous poetry are demotivating you know they they the the romantics the um the beats whatever they find themselves being too gloomy, too despairing, too pushing down of chance and hope and just embracing of the existential risks. But this one, this one is a is a refreshing mark and it is something I am grateful for and I love to read because it just is like a clock reset of, of how I'm feeling because when I can you know with, with with chest say this whole thing i think like i do have the capabilities i do have the powers and i'm not i'm alive now and i'm not in any state lesser than i am like i can keep going i can keep pushing there's no end yet if that makes sense and i think these things are so much more vital than than meditations than prayer than anything else just basic announcements of human strength nothing supernatural nothing you know beyond capacity something actual something honest something true but something real because we we are we are bloody but unbowed we we are the masters of our own fate we're not dead yet if we can read this poem if we can stand up straight and scream these words we can keep going and that is why i love Inviticus.